Well guys, where do I begin? So, I'm sure all of you guys saw the title of today's video. It's a bad one, you know, one of my dogs is sadly gone, passed away, and his name was Bruno. A lot of you guys got to see Bruno on the channel. Bruno was an absolutely amazing dog. I've been around Bruno for the past four or five years. He was Mario's dog, then he was mine. He was here for about four to five months, and I basically got to see this dog grow up, build amazing relationships with chimpanzees, tigers, lions. Bruno was a sweetheart with all animals, no matter what it was, but he sadly has passed away. I'm looking at Xena right now. She's looking at me. You know, this is a really hard video for me to make. This is not my typical video that I film, that I make. I put a lot of thought into this. I wasn't even sure if I wanted to do it, but I wanted to tell all of you guys, my loyal subscribers and fans, people that love the animals just as much as I do. Even though you guys don't get to see the animals every single day like I do, you guys get to see them and live vicariously through me, through the channel, and get to see these animals, watch them grow up, watch them build relationships with other animals. So I needed to address this whole thing. It was really tragic how Bruno passed away. It was a complete freak accident it's taken me a long time to make this video but before we hop into today's video and i explain to you guys what happened how this happened what led up to it we are going to have kind of a little flashback of some of the times bruno was here on the channel and some of the videos that you guys loved of him so without further ado we're going to hop into bruno's memorial we're gonna bring bruno out right now for them and we're gonna see what happens bruno come here boy come here let's look at these two we're introducing them right now we got big Bruno with little Xena right here. Come on, Xena, come on. What do you think of these two right here? I mean, these are pretty cool and unique dogs. I mean, Bruno is just an absolute beast, and she is just a big girl as well. And look at the difference in their patterns. I mean, Bruno is more of just like this golden color with blacks, and she has about four different colors. She has black, she's got a stripe, she's got orange, cream. I mean, these dogs right here are going to make some incredible puppies, guys. Look at them, they're already being friends. Bruno, what do you think, Bruno? What are you doing, bro? Bruno, right here. Take that, right there. There's some treats. So these right here are some nice air dried. I think they're like beef tracheas. I'm not entirely sure. Bruno, you want those? Bruno is not really interested in the treats right now. Well, I don't think any of these dogs are interested in treats right now. If you like your new girlfriend, I hope you like her because, you know, she's here to stay. So now that Bruno and Xena have been introduced, it looks like they're going to be best buds. I mean, look at these two right here. We've got to bring Milo out here because, well, Xena's going to be here until I move. So, well, we got to make sure that all of the dogs are getting along. Bruno, come here, man. Come here, boy. Come here. Bruno thinks he's going to the vet right now. That's why he put his head down. He's like, no, it's okay. Hi, buddy. Hello. Hi. And then the big girl right here is going to get hers on. Got Bruno, can you relax, bro? Oh, my gosh. He is very excited to see me. Bruno wants to drink. Oh, my gosh. Bruno's absolutely loving it. Zena, you want some water? Zena, you want some? Zena has no idea. Zena wants nothing to do with this. Bruno absolutely loves the hose. He's absolutely losing his mind. Well, Bruno, we're going to get back to the hose in a second. We're going to use our super secret special lip positive lip formula. This little oh, score yeah. enough to make it sudsy on the dog. Okay. There you go. go. We've got it right here. We're just going to rub it on in, and we're going to go to Big Bruno, and we're going to start rubbing it on in. Oh, yeah, big guy. Now, this soap, Landon was telling me earlier that it also doesn't really hurt their eyes. It's almost like a tear-free formula for the dog, and I know they're going to absolutely love it. We got to get on his head. We're gonna get on his underbelly, and look, Bruno is getting a dog massage right now. He is absolutely loving it. And you can see that this soap is just great. It's just lathering into him. He is absolutely loving it, enjoying it right now. We're just gonna work it on him. We're gonna need a little bit of more soap, I think. These are some big dogs. We're gonna get all by Bruno's ears. We're gonna get all over his legs. Look at those canines. You can see the canines as he's drinking. Well, guys, we have completed our bath time for today. These dogs had an absolute blast. They had a great time. And we have got to give them their treats for behaving so well. But Bruno grabbed his. Bruno's running away with it. Hopefully, this will keep him distracted and occupied for a couple of hours. These guys are absolutely loving their bones. Well, I hope all of you did enjoy watching Bruno's little memorial video. As hard as it was for me to put together, um, I, I had to show all of you guys because I just like to be totally transparent with all of you on the channel and I had to bring to light what happened because you guys are not going to see him anymore on the channel. You're going to see Xena. So obviously you guys are going to be asking where he is. So that is why I had to make this video. And I just like to be totally honest with all of you. So I'm sure everyone's wondering and the number one question that everyone has is how did Bruno pass away? This happened a couple of Fridays ago on October the 13th. 
this was a total freak accident, like I was saying. Nothing could have prevented it. But what happened was I was going out around probably 7 o'clock at night to go get some food, and I had to run past a friend of mine's house to pick up some stuff. Well, whenever I leave my house, I pull out of my gate, and I wait for the gate to completely close because technology can malfunction. It can glitch. I always want to physically see that my gate completely closes up so I know that my dogs are safe. Now, my dogs free roam this five-acre property because I need protection. I was gone maybe an hour and a half. I pulled into my gate, and when I pulled up, the gate was wide open. I immediately knew something was wrong because the gate should never be open unless I put the gate code in. I saw the gate completely physically shut, so I sped in and was freaking out. And what I saw was, and when I, and when I came in, I saw Zena come from this exact Tiki Hut. She comes out of the walkway, but I didn't see Bruno. And I was actually on the phone with my dad at the time, and... I knew something was up and I knew Bruno was most likely not on the property when I saw that he wasn't here because Bruno was always with Xena and he was always the first one out of the Tiki Hut, the first one to greet me at my car. So I knew something was up right away. I got out, shine, started shining a flashlight. It was already dark at this point and I started calling his name but I didn't hear him. Well, my neighbors next door, I heard their dogs barking, so I thought, well, maybe he, he got over on their property and got into a little scuffle with their dogs. So I heard barking, I heard talking, so I said, Bruno has to be there. I pulled out of my gate, and I drove over, and I saw a guy pulled off on the side of the road. He was flashing me down with his light, so I knew for a fact that, that Bruno had to be there. As I pull up to him, I roll down the window, and I ask him, hey, have you seen my dog? And he told me, well, unfortunately, I hit your dog. So Bruno, once the gate opened, had wandered to the front of the property, and he got out, and got into traffic. Now, I don't know if this guy was speeding. He had to have been speeding because he he told me he hit Bruno and he was he was right there on the side of the road. I I was in complete shock. I've had the past couple weeks to kind of process this and get ready to share it with all of you, but this guy claims he was not speeding and when he was driving and Bruno just walked right in front of his car and got hit. Now, Bruno wasn't really scared of cars but I drove down that road at nighttime with my headlights on and from 20 feet away you would see a dog if it was on the side of the road. So I think this guy was speeding, flying down the road and hit Bruno. From what I hear, Bruno did pass peacefully. It was quick. It's nobody's fault. The gate malfunctioned and it was just a total freak accident. But to see your dog laying on the side of the road hit by a car is one of the most heartbreaking things to see. I was just so distraught and it was just a terrible situation all around. And to make matters worse, um, the guy who hit Bruno was asking me to pay for the damage on his bumper on his car. Like seriously, dude, you just hit my dog and he's dead now and you want me to pay for your damage. So I was, that set me off. And at that point I parted ways from that guy because I wasn't even gonna get involved with that. But it's been about two weeks now, a little over two weeks, and I have right here inside of this little box, I have Bruno's ashes. I'm going to unveil it. It's a heavy box right here. But as you guys can see right here, we have Bruno's ashes. I'm going to get to cherish this little box here for forever. So that is what happened. Um, if any of you guys have any questions, you guys want to comment down below any little prayers, you guys can do that right now down below. This video was pretty hard to make. It took me a while to actually come out here, sit down, think it through, and put together a nice, tasteful memorial for Bruno. But one thing that makes this a whole lot brighter is Zena, his girlfriend, she just might be pregnant. Her belly keeps dropping. We haven't got an ultrasound. It would be just absolutely amazing if Zena was pregnant and I could keep a couple of her puppies here. That would be the best thing. That would make me so incredibly happy. So guys, make sure to go comment down below if you think Zena's pregnant. I'm hoping that she is pregnant. Now I'm sure everyone is asking how is Zena doing? Well, for the first couple of days, she was pretty sad, but she is getting a whole lot better right now. So we're gonna go walk around the property. I'm gonna try to find Zena and show you how she's doing. Hey girl, hi Zena. So guys, Zena is doing well. She's a little bit sad. You can see it in her face. She's just a little bit sad, but she is just a very sweet girl right now. She's sad that Bruno's not here. I'm sad that Bruno's not here, but hopefully she's pregnant. We can have some of Bruno's puppies, and his puppies will get to live their lives here on the ranch. She is such a sweet, nice little girl.
You're a good girl. You're a very good girl. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope everyone did enjoy watching Bruno's memorial video today. It was really hard for me to put together, but I needed to give you guys transparency, which I always do on the channel. Anything that happens, I always let you guys know because you guys are a part of the family as well because none of this would be possible if it was not for your guys' support. So, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please make sure to go comment down below a little prayer that we have some Bruno puppies in the works. And if it is your guys' first time on the channel, you want to see more amazing doggies, you guys want to see lions, tigers, turtles, tortoises, and iguanas and all kinds of crazy animals. Well, what are you waiting for? Go right now and hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell and you all will be notified whenever I post.